I just finished my workout and I checked my email when I got back to the car and I finally, finally received the email from my company stating how to return my device and send it back to them. If you're new here, I lost my job last week. I was laid off due to company cutbacks. So let's go get ready for the day and return their equipment. All right, so made it back home and I was able to get into my work computer as well as my personal computer. So I'm going to, since the email came on my personal computer of how to log in and what to do to return my device, I'm gonna use my personal computer for that piece there, but I have my work, my ThinkPad ready to go just in case. And I am able to still like log into that computer. So let's see. I just spent like three minutes having to reset my password because I thought I knew my password. Um, but if you're like me, you probably have it saved in your work computer or your personal computer and you just click log in. And that's what I always did. But I thought I knew it. So I'm trying to log into the system and they're like, that's not your password. And I'm like, Lord. So have you ever had to like go through that? Like every password that you ever used that you think or remember using on your computer? And then finally you hit it because I was like, oh gosh, I really don't want to do the hit the whole forget password link. I just didn't feel like doing all that, but I was able to get in, so let's keep going. As I'm reading through the letter, um, I do see that I am. Well, you know how layoffs go. They either gonna give you a payout or you can apply for unemployment. So I am reading through all that information there. If I am to accept a payout, it'll be this amount, it'll cover this much. Um, and if I choose to turn it down, then I will have the opportunity to apply for unemployment. Um, so just something to think about. So if it was you, would you take the payout or would you apply for the unemployment? All right. So. Did it done. I filled out everything, all the paperwork that was needed for offboarding. Um, the only issue is I thought that it was like gonna be something that you print out and you take to the post office, to the UPS in order for them to send off the, well, send the computer back. But from what I'm understanding, that's not how it works. They're gonna actually send me a box or something in order to package and ship it and then I'll be able to send it. So technically we will not be returning their computer today. We'll have to wait until they send us uh, the packaging. Let's move on with the day and do something else. Starbucks thinking I'm about to go in, order my drink, sit down, start applying for jobs, and honey, they have closed. Well, let me not say that. They're not allowing customers to come inside, and look, people are just like pulling up, thinking they're going to go and watch. All right, so maybe they don't go in. I mean, I could still get a drink and sit outside, but I mean, hey, who's trying to do that in this weather? So, you know what I'm going to do since they're not allowing people to go inside? I'm still going to go ahead and jump into the drive through line, get my drink, and I'm actually just going to sit outside and still do what I came here to do, was just to get some work done. All right, so I'm back. Cut everything that I just said because this line is wrapped around. So there's one, two, three, four cars I can see. It has to be at least two in front of it. No. Yeah, I, it's a no for me. I, I can, I'm a shooty wop de wop <laughs> down to the uh, Dunkin' Donuts and I can achieve the same thing because I bet money, I bet money they don't have a line and I bet you can actually go inside. I don't know what Starbucks got going on today. No tea, no shade, but hey, it's Friday. Like, get it together. <music> Done. 
Dunkin' Donuts came through for the win. And, and this is the thing, with, with that Dunkin' Donuts that I just went to, they are super small. I don't know if you guys can see, it was a Dunkin' Donuts and a uh, ice cream shop. So the inside already had tons of people inside of it, like sitting down meeting. It was like only four tables and three out of the four were taken. So technically I could have sat at the fourth table, but I was just like, let me just go ahead, get my drink, and then um, just do some applying for my car. You know, sometimes that's just a little bit more peaceful and quiet, just kind of be in the serenity of your own car. And get some work done from the phone. Okay, so I've knocked out coffee, applying for jobs, went to the post office, picked up more pet food. Now I'm at the last stop, which is going to go get me a couple groceries for the weekend. I don't know about y'all, but have you ever, let me just say this. The blessing I'm feeling in this moment with being unemployed is like, I don't feel rushed to do the task that I need to do. For myself or my home like going to get groceries sometimes I would get off of work and feel rushed trying to beat the crowd just kind of sitting and enjoying my coffee while my brain isn't overload thinking about with work and what I'm doing and I'm actually focused drinking my coffee while completing a task and it's just that added pressure that comes with work I don't feel that today so unemployment isn't cool but there is a blessing in everything. So let's knock out this last run. Because even though that I'm feeling pumped and energized, I'm getting tired. I've been outside for a minute now. <laughs> so let's go by Publix, uh, get some groceries, and wrap this day up. Some people asked me before um, about my foundation. I am wearing the Fenty, the new one that came out for the sunscreens, like sunscreen and foundation mixed in one. So it's my first day trying it out. Can't really say if I like it or not. It's giving a dewy vibe, but yeah, that's what I put on my face today. So I'm gonna link it below um, with my color that I chose that matches me very, very well. I will say that, but. Yeah, I'm wearing the Fenty, the new Fenty that has the sunscreen in it. That is what we have on our face today. Cause I'm not even gonna lie. I did, I did feel it in a way. Like, it's, like, it's really over. Like it's over, but now you finally see the official paperwork that says this is your last day. You will get your payment on this date here. Um, this will be your final payment. It'll be an amount of X, Y, Z. Um, and then as I mentioned earlier, they said, hey, if you choose not to accept the payment, then you can apply for unemployment. So just kind of seeing all that was just like, okay, this is real. <laughs> this is real. So it is what it is. Moving on to bigger and better.